Hey there, I'm Charlene, this is Chris, and this is Holly. We've been exploring in our motorhome for over a year now, and it's been a wonderful ride so far. You join us today in Switzerland, and this behind us here is St. Moritz. So hold on tight as we explore some beautiful spots in this country. Unfortunately, we didn't get off to a good start last week and broke down within the first hour in Switzerland. In today's video, we're back on the road and look forward to experience our very first Swiss park ups in the mountains, wow. share our first impressions of Switzerland and also do some train spotting. So good morning and welcome back to a new video. We're currently at the top of Julia Pass and this is a high mountain pass which connects the Engadin Valley with the region of Graubunden. We're about 2,200 meters up, so it's pretty high. And in front of me there's the mountain pass here which is frequented by a lot of cars, motorbikes, trucks, a lot. As you can see, it's already pretty busy this morning. Now, at night though, the traffic does calm down, so we spent a really peaceful night here in this little like lay-by parking lot. There is a lovely stream here, and there is also a sign that cows might be here, but no cows today. The scenery here is incredible because there is a thick cloud on the lake and it's creating a magnificent view. There's kite surfers there. The wind is throwing them about. This lake looks like sea because there are a lot of waves and it's rough. It's cool to see it. We just stopped here for a cup of tea. Since we've been down from Julia Pass, the whole valley here is really windy. Now, across the lake here, you can see it's quite choppy. You've got the trees, a nice bit of fog, and it makes this kind of mystical look, you know, which is really nice. And the fact that we can stay here in the motorhome is so amazing. Like we can just stop here for a bit, have a cup of tea, and enjoy the beautiful lake views from inside, nice and warm, without going out in all that wind. <laughs> <laughs> We have a problem with Chris as well because he's lying on the bed with his back hurting him. And yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. Let's hope that this vlog isn't going to be doom and gloom one, like the one we did last week. It's really hurting. It's so weird because oh, we didn't really do anything the last few days. I think strenuous at least. Stay like for 10 minutes, try and stay straight and then we'll try and continue. You, why are you there? On my pillow, huh? Huh? I need to change the pillow seat now. This lake is also famous for windsurfing and kite surfing. And from the van, we can see a lot of people doing it right now. There's so many, there's about 20 of them. It's much more calmer now compared to Lake Sills where we were just stopped at for the tea. Now, it's kind of split in two as well, this lake, because you've got one part and then you've got like a bridge and a castle in the middle and then there's another part here on this side, which is even calmer. It's not even rough here, though. no waves whatsoever. Yeah, in the winter as well, they have this black ice, they call it, and I think in winter it's going to be completely different with the snow which is something really nice to see, I think. But with our tendu, we can't come here in winter for sure. <laughs> yeah, what we've realized is so far, at least the roads we've been taking, are very mountainous. They're just like up and down. Mm -hmm. There aren't really any main roads either. Like, the roads are really good. And I guess they clean them in winter as well. They clear them quite quick, but... They're all like steep, going up and down all the time. Yeah, if it snows on the day, we definitely won't be going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we come here, like in January, February time. We're straight ahead now is St. Moritz, which is one of the most famous towns, the most expensive towns in Switzerland. <laughs> and we're going to stop by there, check it out. I'm trying to stay straight because of my back. You can 
it's killing me, like just the whole left side give me sharp pain sometimes when I move too fast, so I'm just trying to stay straight. So don't laugh at me if I look a bit weird today. Pretty straightforward you just put in your number plate and you choose how many hours you want to stay for and you can pay by cash or card it's very modern no so we arrived at this lake which is called saint moritz and in italian they also call it san maurizio right and we're gonna go and check out the lake first because as you might be able to see behind us the sky is quite gray so if it does start chucking it down we'd much rather be in the town where we can take cover so while it's not raining, we're just heading out to check out the lake. The rain has stopped! Woo! We can walk without an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, chuck it away now. Yeah. But the sun, you know, on the houses and hotels, whatever they are, looks so nice because they all have this incredible color, all different. And we are surrounded with mountains as well here. Here at St. Moritz, we're about 1,000 meters above sea level, but there's also a cable car over there, which takes you up the mountain even higher. When you think about Switzerland, at some point, you think about this lake. And it's very famous, but there are only a few people walking about. No tourists at all, just us. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the walk here. It's very calm, you know, enjoying this beauty of nature that there is here. Yeah, I'd say it's very similar like size-wise to Lake Bled, maybe a bit smaller. Mm -hmm. It um, is smaller, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think we're gonna go all the way around. We're gonna go a bit more and then like when we get to halfway, we're going to turn back because we want to explore the town a bit as well. Yeah, it we takes leave. two hours, that's why. Oh, okay, so <laughs> to yeah. do it all, it's yeah, going to yeah, take a lot of time. So we're going to do it halfway. There you go, guys. Charlene working hard. As I mentioned, my back's hurting me, so just tying up my laces. I thought we can eat this, but I don't think so because they're all like rotten already. Yeah, there's only one way to find out. Ah, uh, no, taste I'm not going to taste it. No way. <laughs> <laughs> but you see these everywhere. Huh? In the Alps, they're everywhere. So it's crazy to think this whole lake is going to start freezing over in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> and you know what they do here? Horse racing in winter. Can you imagine that? On the, on the lake? Yeah, on the ice. Yeah, on the lake. Stunning. Can you imagine it? <laughs> yeah. No, not really. Horse racing. Know why but Holly seems to be super excited to be here in Switzerland. She's running after ducks, after birds, after squirrels. She's gone crazy. A bike is coming. Oh okay. <laughs> Whoops. Bitte schön. Are we German? <laughs> so another thing was good to mention as well that although Switzerland is not part of the European Union and they use Swiss francs here, they also accept euros, which at the moment is around the same. So like one euro is about 96 Swiss francs. Wow, the view from this side is also spectacular. There's like a little castle or cottage or whatever that is up there, all on its own. There's a lot of construction though as well. There's one crane, two cranes, three cranes behind the tree. Four. And another one back there, so. Construction is everywhere. So we're now just entering the old part of St. Moritz and you can totally see the difference here. It's full of hotels, 
designer brands and like this is just a pedestrian zone one thing i love about the architecture here it's very similar to the rest of europe but they love their like pointed roofs and that's something we've seen throughout switzerland and even the paintings on the buildings right yeah it's a bit different as well they've got their own style uh -huh. any shopping today sure window shopping won't be here because everything is expensive <laughs> Only a few people are wandering in the streets and I imagine that during the winter season it's going to be a jam-packed village. They all look so good. <laughs> we had to get some sweets. Are we going to eat them now or for later? No, later. Yeah. Something Break small. A cup of coffee, yeah? Something or small. <laughs> so we're going to head down now back to the van. It's getting pretty cold as there's no sun whatsoever now and it's just been raining on and off but one thing we need to do now is just get our sim card as that's another reason why we've come here to St Moritz for the first few days here in Switzerland we haven't had any internet at all so it's been a bit uh, confusing but it was nice just to be offline for a yes, bit yes yes I loved it <laughs> so we're gonna go and get our sim card now and then head back to the van because we paid for four hour parking and I think they're up so we'll St Moritz good that sign says otherwise. It was one of the first electric trams in Switzerland. Wow. So it's a tram stop and now it's a bus stop. Yeah. How cute. Here comes your team. Mm. What about the cars, okay? All sorted? Yes, so we're all set up for internet. We went with the Swisscom. It was 65 euros and we've got unlimited data for a whole month, which is a lot cheaper than I expected. And if you're coming for a short period, you can do like 20 euros a week. But again, like really cheaper than I expected. I thought we were going to pay like 100 euros. Or Very more. cheap, yeah, for Switzerland. Yeah. But anyway, we're all set up. We've got a hotspot now. But before we do any uh, internet things, yeah, <laughs> before we look at the internet, we need to enjoy these. Yeah. Do you want one or both of me? No, this is mine. Okay. Mm. Where are we? Six euros for these two. <laughs> Just a couple of piggies enjoying their sweets. Hmm. <laughs> time to go! Yeah, it's time to leave St. Moritz and this beautiful Engadin Valley. And explore something new. Yeah, we're gonna head towards central Switzerland now. So we stopped at this parking spot randomly. This is so gorgeous. Yes, we wanted to show it to you because look at this river. Look at the color of it. And then there is this quaint village here. Wow, incredible. Brilliant. I'm so happy that we passed from here again. <laughs> it just started raining again. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty. Oh, it's nice, I but love it. But look at this house, how beautiful this is. Look, this one here. Wow. How cute, huh? Really nice. There's the train again, look, the train passes. Oh, yes. From train. everywhere. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> anyway, I think we should get back in the van because the rain is yeah. getting heavier and heavier. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Come on, Holly. Let's run, come on. Go on it, go on it, go on it, go on it! That's feeling better at least. So we didn't really mean to pass from here again, but the problem we had was that the mountain pass that we wanted to pass from um, had a maximum width of, of 2.3 yeah. meters, and we had 2.35. Now we could have maybe give it a go, but we didn't want to risk it. And we've seen that a lot here in Switzerland. There's a lot of narrow roads and uh, small villages that sometimes you have to pass from. So yeah, so we're gonna head back in the direction we came from earlier on this week and find the park up there. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> I can't look at a view too much because it's a very narrow bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your first impressions about Swiss? They're very fast drivers. Now, but apart from that, this place is beautiful. It's so unique, you know? It's kind of like got bits of Austria, Italy, France, are like all mixed together in its own unique way. We love it so far. Mm -hmm. It's 
So we've just found a park up about 30 minutes away. So we're gonna go and check it out and see if we can spend the night there. Just in case you haven't seen our last vlog, we're gonna show you where we broke down. Right here. This is the spot where we stopped. Honey, it's right next to me. Honey. You're looking the wrong way, honey. Honey. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. We should have bought this earlier, but I don't think we've taken any of the main roads yet, so. No, no. We just bought this. It's a vignette for Switzerland. And. How much is it? It's 40 francs, so that's about 40 euros. And it's for the whole year but it runs per calendar year. So it's like 1st of January to the end of December. So we can use this to the end of the year if we need to. I love winter more than summer, but when it comes to switching on the heater, you know, and there's someone saying, oh, switch it off, switch it off, switch it off all the time. I really hate that. Too hot, too hot. Yeah. If you love winter, you need to love the cold. That's how I think about it. Uh, yeah, but you need to, no way, you need to be cozy to enjoy winter. You can't be cold and enjoy winter. It's not cold, it's not cold yet. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> what are you guys? Are you winter lovers or summer lovers? But then as much as I love winter, I love summer as well. Switzerland <laughs> we passed through these mountain roads so many times that's how I feel right now like oh my god another mountain pass <laughs> yeah, and this is only the beginning and the thing is most of our parking spots where we're sleeping are on mountain passes because like down by the villages they're all uh, like camping forbidden yes so we're having to like go up these mountain passes like we were last night at Julia Pass. Now we're on Fluella Pass. This feels like Faroe Island. <laughs> this mountain pass is absolutely better than the one we slept last night. You can really see the vibrant colors and it's huge, it's amazing. There are waterfalls coming down from every point and streams everywhere. It is incredible. Because for tonight, it's a Swiss van here. I'm thinking of going in straight, what do you think? Lovely, huh? <laughs> Decent parking, that's for sure. Yeah. For Holly, we got some carrots. And for us, we got some pesto pasta. Yeah, so heat is on. We're nice and cozy in here, as you can probably see mm -hmm. from the glass here. And it's raining outside. It's actually a good night's sleep here. We're on this uh, mountain pass called Fluella Pass and we're about 2,300 meters high. So that's a bit higher than when we were last night at Julia Pass. Water is coming from everywhere. It's incredible. And we can now see the different mountains that there are over there. They're a bit different than these ones. These ones, they have a lot of rocks coming down and that one just slanting with different colors as well. Yeah, the clouds are opening up finally. Yay, the sun is out! From this spot you can do a lot of hikes as well because we saw people going up on the mountains and we can truly see that this place is untouched. Oh 
my god, there is a lake on both sides. It looks incredible. To be honest, I don't feel like I'm on planet Earth right now because it feels completely different up here. Love it so much. I really don't want to leave this place. This one's a bit bigger, at least. Through the middle. Woohoo! We made it! That village we passed from is so beautiful. We saw some stone houses and they looked very old as well. We really love it here. We barely passed through, though. Yeah, that's one thing we hate about Switzerland villages, you know, that we can't really have our mind at ease, you know, with our motor home because the roads are very narrow. But we passed. So we just stopped at our next spot. We're going to do a bit of train spotting today. And as you can see, Charlene has got all the bags with her. Yeah, we're also going to have lunch there as well. We're currently walking along this pathway. It should take us only about 10-15 minutes. And beside us, there's this flowing river with amazing colour. And that's why we needed to get here in 10 minutes because the train runs every hour. Oh, look at this. Look at this one. Can I see it? So it's actually a viaduct and it's over 100 years old. And as we mentioned, the train runs every hour. So you have like one going in this direction and the other direction right after, about a few minutes apart. And earlier on when we spoke to you, we heard the first one coming, so we're trying to rush to get the second one because the next one now is in an hour's time. The train runs like from St. Moritz area all the way to Chur and you can keep on going to Zermatt. And obviously it cost depends on how much you travel, you know, like if you go all the way, I guess it's about 500 euros, so very expensive. But a really scenic train ride because some of the villages and valleys that you pass by and even like this viaduct itself is worth it. And one thing we didn't mention is that the train, whenever there's a scenic spot, it slows down a bit. I love this little area here under the stone bridge because the sand is completely different than what we are normally seeing because usually it's white and this one is, it has like a pink color like the Salt Lake in Tus, <laughs> it has that color. Pink, you know, brown, really beautiful. And another thing that I really love are the stones because there are so many different types of stones, different colors as well. And I really love it. <laughs> That's for you. So people built this cairn. It's incredible, huh? Eh? How it's holding on to Magic the... Magic balancing act. Wow. Amazing. And the colors are so unique. So it's just started raining, but luckily near the kiosk, there's also like these tables with the umbrellas. So they've kindly let us use it and we won't get wet while we're eating. So this barbecue area is fully equipped. Apart from having the wood, you've also got some tools as well. Like we brought our own tongs with us, but if not, they've also got them here. So really good thing they do here in Switzerland. Yeah, they provide everything for you. The rain has stopped. Just in time for lunch.
great idea. Love it. So that lunch was amazing. I think I'm going to be using these uh, barbecue areas a lot here in Switzerland. Yeah, they are everywhere and they provide you with wood, benches and the barbecue area, which is great for us. Amazing. We've never seen it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Now we need to clean up this mess. So we're going to close the video here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you're new here, why not subscribe to the channel? We've got loads more adventures to come here from Switzerland and beyond. And we'll see you next week for another one. Bye.